It was March 2020. My life came to a dead stop. Coping with new tools, new ideas, new technologies. Oof. I needed a metamorphosis. That too, fast. Hi. I am Tina. I have been a primary teacher in India ever since I completed my graduation three years ago. Until the pandemic, I was an ordinary navigator of the digital world, using a few online resources to supplement my teaching. In the post-corona world, my teaching job demanded much more digital skill. As I began my journey as digital teacher, I discovered some truth. As teachers, you would agree that the essence of education is sharing knowledge, isn't it? I felt lucky to be part of a society in which so much knowledge was available freely. When I surfed Wikipedia for material for my online class, I was struck by their vision, to create a world in which every single person on the planet, is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge. I thought internet had already provided access to knowledge to all. Of course, there are economic and cultural barriers, which we must overcome. But my naive worldview was shattered as I dug deeper. The millions of images, texts, videos, audio, illustrations, and other resources that we use. Well believe it or not, are part of a world that is trying to lock knowledge up and restrict sharing. The majority of digital resources on the internet are entangled, in a complex mesh of intellectual property rights, laws, licenses, and policies, something that I never bothered about. Yes, unknowingly, I have violated many laws, many a time. The fact, that I have not been punished as yet, does not absolve me from the violations I committed. You cannot simply cut and paste or download whatever you find on the internet. These resources are proprietary, you are not authorized to use them freely. I realized, the relationship between the content creator, publisher and user is complex. The other day, I made a video for my students. I uploaded it in YouTube, thinking that I have made a resource, available to any teacher in the world to use, or repurpose. The YouTube terms of use, clearly prohibit any other teacher to repurpose my video. If you don't believe me, read the terms of use of YouTube, and I quote, As a user, you are not allowed to access, reproduce, download, distribute, transmit, broadcast, display, sell, license, alter, modify or otherwise use, any part of the service, or any content except, as expressly authorized by the service, or with prior written permission from YouTube, and, if applicable, the respective rights holders. This, was far from my intention. I looked some more, and found an alternative. If I used a Creative Commons license on my video, this would make it possible, for anyone to reuse, revise, remix and redistribute my video, as they liked. I suddenly felt, I am in charge of my creation now. The Creative Commons licenses are closely linked, with the wonderful world of open education resources, called OERs. I'll talk about that another day.